Hey guys, Leroy from Noisegate back with a quick tutorial on how to set up your Minilab MK2 with Ableton. The Minilab has everything you really need to dive into the world of electronic music production and it lets you play and tweak all the inspiring sounds that it comes bundled with. This includes hundreds of preset sounds from Analog Lab Lite, the UVI Grand Piano Model D, plus it ships with Ableton Live Lite. So make sure you have all these programs installed before we get started. After you've got these programs installed, click on the Ableton icon to open up live. Um, and make, now we need to navigate to Ableton's preferences. On a Mac, go to the Live tab and click Preferences. On a PC, uh, go to the Options tab, scroll down to Preferences. And then make sure you navigate to the Link MIDI tab, where we're able to assign the Minilab uh, as a control surface for Ableton. So under this first column here, we're going to click the drop down menu and make sure we have Minilab MK2 selected. Same for the input and same for the output. And then the MIDI ports for input and output, we want to ensure that we have track and remote uh, selected as well. Okay, now we're good to go. So now over to the Minilab. First thing we want to do is press Shift and then Pad 8. Uh, this is where Ableton Live uh, control template is stored in Minilab uh, and this will automatically assign all of uh, the Minilab's controls uh, to functions within Ableton. So now we're good to go. So by default, encoders is 1 through to 4 and 9 through to 12. Uh, control the macro parameters um, of our selected record enabled track. So this is my track I have selected here and it's record enabled with this icon lit down here. And now I can start playing songs, playing sounds, and turning the encoders to uh, control the parameters of this particular instrument. Encoders 5 and 6 control uh, the send volume of the selected track. So 5 controls send volume A and 6 controls send volume B. These are going to um, a reverb um, in a, and a delay. Encoders 13 um, controls the panning of the selected track. Encoders 14 controls the volume of the selected track. 7 and 15 control the volume of our sends, as you can see over here and 8 and 16 allow us to navigate around our session. So 8, you can see here, is uh, scrolling uh, between the different channels that I have set up in this session. And encoder 16 allows us to navigate through all these columns or rows of scenes. Um, and this will display um, the available clips that we have set up uh, in, our in our session. So you, you can see on the pads here, that one through to eight is displaying um, eight um, channels of audio at the time. And whenever we have a pad that is colored yellow, it means we have a clip present. And whenever I press the pads, they'll turn green to indicate that they're now playing. If I scroll down to an empty um, clip, I can tell that it's empty because uh, the pads have turned gray. If I hit the clip, it will turn red. This indicates now that it's recording. And when I hit it again, it will turn green, meaning now that the clip will begin playing back what we've just recorded. Now to ensure that you are recording, make sure that you have the channel that uh, is record enabled. Now channel 9 here, I have an instance of Analog Lab uh, on this track with an instrument. And I'm going to load the uh, plugin up and I'm going to make sure I click record enabled. And now I want to get um, the Mini Lab to control uh, the Analog Lab plugin. So to do this, simply press shift and then pad 1 to assign it to um, Analog Lab. This now means that we can use the uh, instrument uh, encoders and pads to control the sounds uh, uh, in this plugin. So encoders one will navigate around um, the categories 
and Coda 9 will navigate between all of the presets that we have in our plugin. And then the rest of the encoders assigned to the macro controls for whatever instrument it is that we have selected. Thanks for watching the video guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below uh, and we hope to see you next time.